Hello everyone, this is Mono Mono back here, and I am playing Terra Firma Craft. A kind of a weird name, you can probably tell. I don't really know why it's called that, but I've been playing Blood and Bones a lot, and honestly, when I saw this, this is this is what Blood and Bones should be. In short, this mod pack, I've seen Etho play like three minutes of this, and I think it's already better than Blood and Bones. Like, this is the true hardcore essence of Minecraft. This is not... Blood and Bones was a mod pack that basically made it ridiculously hard for no reason, but this is a mod pack that makes it hard because it's like real life. You actually need like support beams. Oh, I did not mean to do that. You actually need like support beams and stuff and you actually need to carve out stuff with these stones. As you can see it says right click with two and a staff to nap and this is as far as I got literally. I only saw him play up to the point when he made these so this is all I know from here. You also cannot even chop down wood with your hands as you can see it doesn't even it doesn't even start and this is how slowly you break dirt. So, this is way harder core than normal Minecraft is. And honestly, it makes a whole lot more sense than Blood and Bones does. In I, in my opinion, and uh, when you die in Blood and Bones, it's not like if you die in Super Meat Boy or something. It's like if you die in, you know... I, don't, I can't even think of an example. It's not- it doesn't seem fair when you die. In games like Super Meat Boy, when you die, it's like, oh yeah, that was my fault, I'll, yeah, and I just get to try it again. But in Blood and Bones, achievement to get together. And there, there are a couple achievements for getting rocks and stuff too, but I was testing it, so I actually knew a little bit of what I was doing before I started recording. So, excuse us for that, I don't know how many there are. Hammer time! Hammer time! Makes a stone anvil. How do you do that? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to keep the wiki page constantly open. I don't even know what- I know what a quern is, but I don't know at all how you would make it. This is thatch, by the way, is what I'm gonna be making my house out of. Let's see, where do I make it? Oh! Another cool thing is, actually, um, there's actually protein levels in this game. You have different ones for each of the different things in the food pyramid. And there's actually seasons and actual time. I know, crazy, right? Early summer, Thursday, June 1st, 1,000. And the hour is 8. I assume that it's running on military time, but I haven't exactly seen so far. So, uh, I'm gonna be able to- this, this looks like a good place to build my house right next to a, uh, cave. <laughs> yeah, that that's the perfect place to build my house. I'm just gonna get a couple more little uh things. Oh, you can also get stuff from leaves. You can jump in the leaves in this. You can actually like go through the leaves, which is very good considering that it doesn't really make any sense that you aren't able to go through leaves. Oh, by the way, that blue meter is um that's my thirst. I actually have a thirst meter. I don't know why I just broke that with my hands. I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, this is really cool from what I've seen so far. And this is one mod. The only other mod that I have installed with this, other than Forge, obviously, is um, NEI. And I had that for testing stuff, obviously. I don't even know how to spawn in stuff anymore. Like, I drag it, and it just disappears. What the... And Yeah, I, I don't even know how to spawn in stuff, so I couldn't if I would. I couldn't if I was able to, because whatever system they have changed how you spawn stuff in. And I don't know how to do it, so yeah. What was that? Oh, I thought that rose was an apple, and I was like, yeah! So I'm just gonna eat some of these soybeans. And as you can see, it actually eats a little bit of it. it it's not fully... Like, it's a, it's actually as if your character was eating real food. You don't eat a whole entire apple in one sitting, or a whole entire steak, for example. Your character actually eats a little bit of it, and then... Um, waits a little bit. You also have a weight meter. There's just so... I cannot even explain all the stuff that's in this mod pack because there is just simply so much stuff. It's ridiculous. And uh, I know that there are, you can make javelins, but I forgot how to make them. And I, from what I saw, it was really freaking complicated. But now, I, I found this part out on the wiki. It's not like, oh yeah, groundbreaking, but I, I mean, just find it out for myself. And these are spruce trees? Okay. 
you actually make a fire starter like this. You toss three sticks on the ground like that, and you fi what the you fire start it, and then you put sticks in here like this, catching fire lit. So I'm gonna make some torches. Come on. <sighs> you need to have fuel to keep this thing going, but for now, why are my sticks not sacking? For now, I don't... Can you not break this? Oh, yeah, you can. But for now, I don't know exactly how... Like, I don't know the fuel. I know that you can fuel it with logs and stuff, but I can't exactly make those yet. So I'm gonna have to go on the wiki and look up how to make an axe head. So, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Um, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so apparently it's like, mm, let me just, okay, so it's like erg, erg, and erg, 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 and then erg, 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 is it like, yes, it looks like it's just about, yes, okay, so can I make like an axe? I can! Okay, so now I'm gonna chop down some trees. Holy crap! Look at how slow this goes. Does this, does this chop down the whole tree? I wonder. Let me see. Doop! Oh yeah, it does! Oh, what the heck? Logs. What are these two? Hmm, can you like... I wonder. Can you like place these on the ground, or... Oh, that's very odd. Oh my gosh, I don't want to have to break both of these. I'm just gonna make my house with thatch. That's why I made it in the first place. So, oh man, this is like my first night all over again. I love this. This this is way different than Feed the Beast, uh, Blood and Bones. The only mod pack that I actually think Feed the Beast was great for was Feed the Beast Ultimate. And that mod pack, I am telling you, that was a long time ago. Uh, when that mod pack was relevant. Like, that was a very long time ago. Now, I think, actually, that the torches eventually go out, but I'm not even sure. I'm gonna have to make another knife head and stuff. So let me just do that. I also have no clue how to get water, so I probably should have researched that just a, just a little bit. I don't really know how these soybeans are keeping me, uh, fed. I only have a little bit of that left, so I should probably go get some more. What are these? Are these soybeans? Yeah, they are. So I'm just gonna take the soybeans. And what are these? And uh, wh why do these look different? Are these not like fully grown or something? Fifteen point eight ounces. Fifteen point nine. That's that's really cool. E e each of the different foods. I've also read. So let me finish a thought first before I get carried away. It. I've read that. Um, when you kill an animal or something, because, oh my gosh, the animals actually give you the amount of meat they should. They give you, like, a half an inventory of meat if you kill any animal. But, uh, I don't exactly have the strength to do that yet, so... I mean, I should sometime, but not yet. I'm not really sure why you need a knife to pull grass out of the ground, but, you know, it's realistic. This is what I have been searching for. This is the mod pack. Or, this isn't even a mod pack. This is one mod. This is the mod that I've been wanting for so long now. Like, whoa, what are those? This is just such a, this is such a new experience. I don't even know what any of these things are, but they're here anyway. Like, it's just, it's like, how? How is this possible? That it's so. This is literally. I am so surprised that this is one. Can I eat these golden rod? Probably not. No, I cannot. I was wondering. Oh, and I know that there's clay working in this mod, which I'm assuming that I probably should have made a shovel first. But let's see here. How much is that? Four. Well, I know that so far. Oh crap. I shouldn't be, I should not be neandering over here. Oh, I heard a skeleton. I do not like that. Okay, so... I probably shouldn't be neandering. Like a Neanderthal hawk, because you get it, because I'm in the Stone Age. <gasps> but, um... Were, ne were Neanderthals even in the Stone Age? I don't even know. I don't even technically know what the Stone Age was. What do scientists even classify that as? I know I'm in the Stone Age right now, and holy crap, I should have made this house different, because spiders... Ugh. 
This doesn't have okay, good. It doesn't have physics. I was like, man, I I'm pretty sure the wood has physics though. So there's that. Let me just go get some sticks from the tree. I got another sapling. I don't really need that. I probably should have been working harder because I'm going to die. I'm going to die by skeletons and all these crap things and I do not want to die. 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 Not yet, not yet, not yet. But yeah, your <sighs> blood and bones just seems so cheap the whole time. It's not real challenge. It's just an it's annoying challenge. I do not want to kill a wolf right now. It would be a great source of food, but I'm a uh, pretty afraid that I would get killed by all of his little buddies, so I'm not going to do that. I'm also pretty afraid that I'm going to get killed by mobs, and I have no clue what I'm going to be doing while I'm in the house, because obviously I'm not going to have to go outside and stuff, but I'm going to have to be in there. And also, I don't think that there's a disadvantage to sprinting, because from what I have seen in creative mode, it only judges how little health you have by how much time has went by. So there's that. I'm not even going to... I'm just making sure right now that I have a roof. I have a roof, you know, like a roof. Ruff. I I should have made sure to get more things before this. So I'm gonna make a javelin, and I believe it's pretty simple. So it should only be like this, maybe, kind of. I think I screwed it up. <sighs> so is it like this? Okay, so, so far, it looks like it's more like that. And then you have, like, a thing right here. And then you have, like, a little thingy. Yes! A javelin head! So, I'm assuming that you can make this into, like, a ja- Can you, like, throw this? Okay. That's a bit- What? I probably should be- I probably should have harvested a lot more. What what else can I make? A knife blade, I write a shovel. A shovel. I can I can definitely use a shovel right now, even though I just used up my last stick. I'm I'm not in peaceful, am I? No, I'm on normal. So I don't see any enemies in the horizon. I see I don't have any clue what that mob in the left corner is, but I don't want to find out. So I just need one more stick so I can make it. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that I can make a shovel. I'm also gonna take a giant risk here. Go out and get some more thatch so that I can make a little bit more of a roof. Because if I have a shovel, I can finish my roof because I can make it out of dirt. I assume. I think dirt might have physics, but I don't even know. So let me see here. Yeah, a shovel looks pretty simple. All you have to do is this. There we go right there so now I can make a shovel and I don't think that it has physics but I have no clue I did not mean to put that in my crafting table oh crap it does have physics <laughs> oh no ah uh, I guess this is why you use thatch I also think that wood has physics doesn't it no, it doesn't. Apparently not. I don't know what the wood support beams are for. Maybe dirt? I don't know why by the time you can make support beams, you would make a house out of dirt. But I don't exactly know what this is used in. Let me just see what crafting recipes this is used in. Uh, support beams. That looks like it's it. And bowls. Can we make a... Bowls out of iron knives. You can make fences. You can make... Planks. Oh, I need that. How do you make a saw? Ah, oh, crap. It looks like you're gonna need... Ah, oh, you need to make metal for that, and I have no clue how to do that, so... Oh, where's the moon at? Oh, there it is. Okay, what else can I make with this? I know I can make, like, a couple more tools. I can make a hammer. How... What, do you, what is a hammer even used for? I don't know, but I'm gonna make it. Is this how you make it? Yes! Okay, so... Ah, oh, crap, I need another stick. Oh, this is so risky. If you get if you got seen by one mob, you're gonna die. I also really need to figure out how to get oh crap, I ate the whole thing. Oh wait, I have some more over here. I don't need to worry about that. So 
Obviously, food isn't really a problem right now, at least. But once I need to start filling up those other dietary fibers and stuff like... Huh. What's that mean? Is that just music? I really hope that's just music. That mean that... I'm really afraid that that means that something's aggroed on me, but I think that's just music. Yeah, this mod pack adds new music in. That... So, crushing. 60 attack damage. What does this do? 60 attack damage. <laughs> shovel doesn't do anything, even though it's a freaking shovel. You can just bang someone across the head with it and they'll like, get knocked out. So, how much does this do? 60 attack damage. I suppose it's because you can throw it. It's useful. So, I'm going to see what you use a hammer for and stuff. I love this music, by the way. Okay, so I did a little bit of research and I found out that the way that you're supposed to be able to get water and stuff like that is you need to do clay working. And to do that, obviously, you need clay, which I barely have any of. So, you need to first get five clay so that you can do the same, you know, the same thing that you did with the stone. Like, you worked it into a piece of stuff. And that's what you need to do with the clay. So, I need 20 clay for me to be able to start doing this, because this is for me to get water and stuff like that. Because obviously if I don't have water, I'm not going to be able to survive. So, I just need... Oof. Every single time that happens, I think that's a mob or something. But nope, it's just the dirt falling down. Alright, so, what? That gave me no clay? Why did that, just because it was freaking grass? That gave me, that gave me nothing. I broke it and nothing even ha came out of it. Wow, seriously, that was, that, that, that. That was not a good amount of clay. That, nothing happened out of that either. What? I should be using a shovel. How come I'm not using the shovel? It was in my hand. That was stupid. Okay, so, what you need to do is you need to right click on this. I hope nothing sneaks up on me. And I need to make a clay jug and maybe a couple clay vessels. So I'm gonna make two clay jugs and two clay vessels. So a jug is like... Th 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 excuse this, I'm looking at the wiki because stuff are difficult. There we go. There's one clay jug, now let me do it again. So here goes that. All right, two clay jugs and then I'm going to make two clay vessels, which is really freaking simple. Just like that. And now what you have to do is you have to basically dig a one large hole. Ah, oh, crap, I just wasted clay, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So I just dig a one large hole in the ground, which I need to go back to my house. I am going to run out of water unless I do this really fast. So I'm gonna go up in the hammer. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna dig a little hole and I'm gonna put these things in it. Clay jug, clay vessel, let's shift click and put them in there. And then I need to get some thatch, or not not thatch, I need to get straw. So let me just work this out here. There we go, stone knife blade. And get some thatch. Now I can't remember how much you put on it. So I think it's actually, it is eight. And then you need eight logs to put on top of that. So here's eight straw right here, which I will put on top of it. How is that not eight? I'm going to get eight. And then pff, apparently I left one behind. I did not notice that. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I go over here and I chop down another tree so I can get more logs like that right now and then after that the leaves are already gone okay whatever I put six or no eight one two three four five six seven eight and then I use a fire starter and I light it on fire it's working now right that's it, it should be working Okay, so it's is the fire burning right now? Whoa. 
I did not mean to do that. So I haven't done this before, and I'm really hoping this works. Oh, you have to, okay then, you have to finish it. That's a little weird. Okay, so now the fire's burning, and I'm gonna wait. So it's burning, and I'm gonna wait. It's burning, and I'm gonna wait. Am I supposed to put it out myself? Oh, it finished. Okay, so, um, am I supposed to, like, what am I supposed to do now? Um, okay. What just, that's what you're, the, it finished. I tried to, oh my gosh, I think I messed it up. Because I accidentally took it apart so many times. I'm going to have to do that again. And I am running out of water fast. If I run out of water, that's it. That's all you're seeing from me. For now, at least. Why can't I fire start it? Is it because I... Yes, it is. That is the reason right there. I wasn't supposed to do that. That's probably the only reason why the fire stopped burning in the first place. Okay, come on. Seriously, I need water. I need it. Just... Just make a pot for me and stuff so that I can get some stuff. Okay, I think it finally finished. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. I need to go get water right now. I need to. Okay, this is all I need is one jug. I need to go to the fresh water thing over there. I have slowness too right now because I've been here for so long. I need to avoid, avoid, I need to evade that zombie. Which he can see me from all the way over here. I just need a zombie. I don't I don't need you. I don't need you. I just need this. Yes. Oh. oh man. Oh yes. Okay. I'm getting away from you now. Oh. Okay. Oh man. Okay, 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 okay. I'm starting to figure this out. I'm starting to get the gist. I just need to do this so he cannot get in. I really hope the zombies cannot break blocks in this mod pack because if there's that's completely obvious that this is a complete ripoff of Feed the Beast if they can, or the other way around. It's completely obvious. I should not have put that there because um, that's going to be really annoying to break. But I just don't want anything getting in the house. So I'm so happy that I finally have these jugs so that I don't have to worry about water anymore. All I need to do is start... Oh, have I even started on the animal breeding? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. But that will be for next time. So I will see you then. Maybe, if you care. But I hope you do. So bye.